the mighty Upper Hutt Tigers were established in 1961 and have always been a fierce competitor. Until now, that is. Everyone wants the Tigers to come back. You know, we used to be a powerhouse in the Wellington region. I mean, the league in Wellington just dropped off. For the past three years, the Tigers haven't been able to field any junior teams, which is a far cry from the club's glory days. The club has got a steep history. It's produced a lot of Kiwis from the local, local talent, but also it attracted a lot of players to the club once the success started to uh, mount there. Um, you did try pretty hard to make any of the top teams. It was um, probably about seven senior teams. There was a time where this club was like the heartbeat of this community. It was like thriving back then, so we had a really good um, junior section. Um, and then we had 15s, 17s, 19s. Although there are a few contributing factors for the lack of teams, Ben is not one to shy away from the blame game. I think it's like going to other codes, like kids are playing rugby and uh, basketball. I actually blame Stephen Adams for the decline of rugby league in Wellington. It's not only the junior grades struggling in Upper Hutt. Last year, the Tigers had a premiership team in the competition, but due to dwindling numbers throughout the season, the club abandoned it. It was a decision that was made by me because over the last two years we actually struggled in regard to Premier football and I wasn't about to put uh, the young players that we had into that um, competition again so the best thing for the club was to restructure, re regather themselves in strength and build from juniors again and hence that's why we're here at this Warriors School Day. Over the past few months, Ben has been getting creative in ways to revive the black and orange stripes. One of his initiatives was to bring the Warriors to Upper Hutt for a drills and skills session prior to their clash with the Sharks. The Warriors coming down and doing these sort of things is brilliant. You, know, they, um, you see all their faces light up every time they get to a station with one of the players that they know and they've seen on TV and they're, they're quite keen to show off for them and you know, they, want, they, they I suppose look up and think oh, I want to be that guy in you know, 10 years time or 5 years time. A lot of talent has come out of the Upper Hutt Tigers including Melbourne Storm Enforcer Nelson Osofa Solomona and the Warriors' very own Stephen Kearney. Ben is determined to get the club back up and running to give the next generation a chance to make a name for themselves. I mean, we're losing kids to other codes. I mean, who's going to be the next Nelson Osofa Solomona coming through? Who's going to be the next Sereru? Kevin Tamati? We might be losing the rugby or basketball. Nelson Asafa Solomona hasn't forgotten his roots and is desperate to help his junior club get back on their feet. Hey guys, uh, Nelson Asafa Solomona from the Melbourne Storm. Um, proud old boy of Upper Heart Tigers. Uh, he called me while I was at work. I was in a meeting, so I had three of my schools. Oh, bugger, it's Nelson. It's good for the kids to see that someone like Nelson Asafa Solomona grew up in Timberley from Upper Heart, is now playing NRL. And now he's playing the pinnacle, he's playing for the Kiwis. Nelson's, um, his suggestion is he'll come back to the club to run like similar to what we did today and maybe a rugby league academy. The club not only needs numbers, it needs financial support. Over the past few months, Ben has been collecting jerseys which he hopes to auction to raise money for the Tigers. I sort of like asked myself, you know, how can I help the club? So I just decided to reach out to my networks, um, all the guys that I played footy with. Uh, played league against and then slowly and surely everyone started donating jerseys from like the UK, Australia and from around New Zealand. When most thought the Tigers time had come to an end, Ben refused to accept it and his dedication to the club is admired by everyone. He's out there, he's trying to get everything happening and as much as possible. People that he's managed to contact and the inroads he's made into uh, NRL clubs and players and um, all the ex-Kiwis that he's contacted through Upper Hutt, the support that we've had from them coming downhill has been brilliant. The Tigers may have been sleeping for the past few years, but if this community has anything to do with it, they will be back and stronger than ever. People here are passionate about the game. What we've done is we haven't folded, we're still existing as a club. We had our uh, 50th anniversary in 2011, so we're we've sort of moved on so when we start again we want to make sure that we're going to hit the 100. <laughs>